Hello, today I'm presenting to you using decision tree to determine utilization of radiological examinations by referring clinicians. I permit Dr. Alamy to post this presentation on the web. MRI is among the most important diagnostic tools in diagnosing and following up on neurological cases and therefore it's going to be an example of the rad radiological examination that the decision tree can be used to determine the utilization for. However, MRI is an expensive tool that is sometimes overutilized in an inefficient manner. The MRI department in question is part of a government-funded acute referral hospital. The decision tree is used to determine if there is a significant variation in practices among clinicians in utilizing MRI services and the costs associated with these practices. The de decision tree will compare the practices between two neurologists in their referral of patients to the MRI department for an MRI of the brain, which is a very common MRI examination. The decision tree model compares the practices between two clinicians, clinician A and clinician B. There's a sum of 10 possible probabilities and a sum of 6 possible consequences. Please note that the probabilities are conditional probabilities. Let's talk, for example, about the probabilities leading to consequence 1, or C1. There are three possible probabilities, P1, P2, and P4. Each of them is conditionally dependent on the one before. The probabilities in order are the clinician will refer the patient to an MRI examination of the brain. The MRI examination will be done under general anesthesia. After that, the patient will recover on an inpatient basis. The consequences will be the cost associated with the different decisions. Here's the breakdown of the possibilities of each conditional probability and the cost associated with each decision. Back to our previous ex example, the cost of referring a patient to an MRI examination under general anesthesia and then recovering the patient on an inpatient basis will have the price tag of around $5,000. Here is the cost to the MRI department on average for every patient that clinician A treats. And here is the cost to the MRI department on average for every patient that clinician B treats. What this decision tree tells us is that clinician A seems to utilize MRI examinations and services more than clinician B. And with this information, the MRI department can identify those clinicians that overutilize MRI examinations and services in an effort to reduce unnecessary costs. However, the decision tree does not justify or explain decisions, and that's why it's very important to address some issues that might explain why different clinicians have different utilization costs and practices. Some reasons include that different physicians come from different schools of thinking, which might explain why some physicians tend to order more examinations or hospitalize more. In this particular case, however, the case mix and the costs associated with these decisions were the same for both clinicians because they work in the same hospital.